Struggling with math homework? Let me show you a super quick way to solve a common problem that stumps a lot of people. You've got an arithmetic sequence, the 10th term is 17, and the 14th term is 30. How do you find the common difference? So, let's break it down. An arithmetic sequence is just a list of numbers where the difference between any two consecutive terms is constant. We call this constant the common difference, or D. The formula we use is a underscore n equals a underscore 1 plus n1d. Here, a underscore n is the term you're looking for, a underscore 1 is the very first term in the sequence, and n is the term's position. We're given to pieces of information. First, the tenth term is 17. Plugging this into our formula gives us a underscore 10 equals a underscore 1 plus 10 to 1d. Since we know a underscore 10 is 17, our first equation is a underscore 1 plus 9d equals 17. Let's hold on to that. Second, the 14th term is 30. We do the same thing. A underscore 14 equals a underscore 1 plus 1 for 1d. This means our second equation is a underscore 1 plus 13d equals 30. Now we have a system of two equations. It might look scary, but it's actually the key to solving everything. We have equation 1, a underscore 1 plus 9d equals 1, 7 equation 2, a underscore 1 plus 13d equals 30. The trick here is to subtract the first equation from the second one. Why? because both equations have underscore one, so subtracting them will make it disappear, leaving us with just d to solve for. Let's do the subtraction. A underscore one plus one three d minus a underscore one plus nine d equals 30 minus 17. On the left side, the underscore ones cancel out. One three d minus nine d gives us for d. On the right side, 30 minus 17 is 13 dot so, we're left with a super simple equation for d equals 13. To find d, we just need to divide both sides by 4. 13 divided by 4 is 3.25. And there you have it. The common difference d is 3 dot to 5 dot. If this was helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more quick math tutorials. And drop a comment below if you have a problem you want me to solve next. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.